You know, in the metaphysical branch of Judaism, known as Kabbalah, there's this teaching that God is the ultimate paradox, that God is everything, and yet God is nothing, meaning that God is in everything. God's nature inhabits all creation, and yet no thing, no single expression of God can represent the totality of God's nature. And that idea really runs through all metaphysical branches of every major world religion. It's certainly what we teach in Science of Mind, that God is everywhere present. And the same is true if you go to the metaphysical branch of Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity, Islam. They all have this idea of God being this presence that's in everything, but no single thing totally represents God. I mean, how could any finite expression represent the infinite? Another idea that comes from uh, the teachings of Kabbalah is as infinite carnations, as, pardon me, as finite incarnations of the infinite, we can never totally experience, explain, or express the totality of what God's nature is. Yet, it is our duty to try. 